Hey everyone, this is Jason Lachlan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a popular way for playing rhythm guitar over country shuffles, and we're gonna do this over the Ray Price tune, Heartaches by the Number. It's in B flat, uses some major triads, some major triad inversions, some cool hybrid picking. There's free tablature and a backing track for this, so go grab those so you can follow along. Let's get into it. Let's just talk about a country shuffle really quick. This is a super popular country music feel. Ray Price's tune, Crazy Arms, is credited as the first country shuffle. Steel guitarist Ralph Mooney is credited as the guy that kind of came up with this feel. And a sh country shuffle is a lot like a Swiss watch. There's very specific parts, and if everyone's doing them right and playing their roles, it's going to sound like a great classic country shuffle. So let's talk about them. In the drums, you have uh, two beat happening between the kick and snare, and you have shuffling, eighth notes happening on either the ride or the hi-hat. In the acoustic guitar, you also have shuffling eighth notes instead of straight eighth notes or a boom chick. Let me show you the difference between these two feels. Here's straight eighth notes, two, three, four. Here's shuffling eighth notes, two, three, four. So you could hear that shuffling eighth notes kind of barrel the music forward. You have a longer eighth note happening on the downbeat and you have a shorter eighth note happening on the upbeat. This just kind of propels the music forward. With the bass, you have a walking bass line rather than just a plain one and five, one, five, one, five. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is the thing that we're going to be doing here is this strong upbeat accent that happens. In this tune, Heartaches by the Number, you hear the piano player playing these upbeats uh, in his rhythm guitar part. Now, record versus real life. On record, steel guitar, piano, fiddle, you know, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, drums, bass. Great, right? In real life, you might be playing with a trio. You might be playing with a quartet. And you need to make sure that all these roles or parts of a country shuffle are happening for it to really feel like a good shuffle. And that's what we're going to do here. All right, so let's take a look at the verse of Heartaches by the Numbers. This is in the key of B-flat, uses a 1-4-5 chord in B-flat, so B-flat, E-flat, F. And I'm going to break down the rhythm for you for the verses and chorus and show you how I play this. So I'm using a root position B-flat major triad here. I'm going to do two bars of this. With my right hand, I'm going to grab this triad pick middle ring, and I'm going to pinch it all these strings. And I'm going to play this on the upbeat. So one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. Then when I go to my four chord, I'm going to use good voice leading, go to a second inversion, E flat major triad, two bars of that. One and two and three and four. And one, two and three and four. And go to my closest five chord, which is F. It's a first inversion, F major triad. One and two and three and four. And one and two and four. And and the first time through, I'm going to go back to B flat for two bars. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. Now that whole form goes around again, but we're going to do a little something different after the five chord. So one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. Two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two, three and four. And all right. So rather than going back to the B flat. We're gonna play a lick that's gonna set up the stop, that sets up the vocal cue into the chorus. So I'm gonna jump down here to my B flat. I'm gonna visualize a B flat major sliding pentatonic. And the lick goes like this. So slow here, I'm gonna play the root, slide into the six down to the five, down to the three, then I'm gonna slide into the three from the two, up to the five, back down to the root there. Now that gives me a nice stop. Ray Price started singing in that stop to pull the listeners all into the chorus, and then we're into the chorus. I'm gonna show you the chorus. 
Very similar to the verse, but a little bit different. There's a little, uh, there's a little twist here in the chorus. I'll show you. Before I get into that, if you're digging this lesson, find it useful, and want to check out more lessons like this or support what I do, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Helps me out. Or go check out my teaching website and check out any of my courses, jam tracks, master classes, all that good stuff. All those links are down below. All right, so the chorus of this. So two bars of the B flat chord, just like we were playing. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Two bars of the four chord, the E flat. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. Now we're gonna do three bars of this five chord. One, and two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And we're gonna jump back to this lick that sets up that stop again. Then we're gonna do all that again. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. So the form of this song is really simple. You have an intro, verse, chorus, you have a solo over the verse, another verse, chorus, a short little outro, and you're done. Now you know another classic country tune, and one that's popular. It's going to get called out all the time. You also know a classic, really popular way to play country shuffles as a guitar player. I guarantee this is not the only time you're going to use that approach over a country shuffle. Thousands of country shuffles will work with this approach on electric guitar. All right, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to grab that free track so you can play along. Check out all those links down below, and I'll see you in another video.